Pine and Rehab Specialist Podcast Series. So with me today, I have one of our physical therapists, Dr. Anthony Durant. How's it going, everybody? Thank you for having me. Good. What we're talking about today is this this guy here. It's called the newbie. Now, everybody, you know, when I talk about the newbie, they think we have a new employee or something like that. There's newbie. Or like, Who's the newbie? What's his name? No, it's actually the newbie. So the newbie is a piece of electrical stimulation equipment. Now that is not doing a lot of justice, but essentially that's what it is. I'm gonna give you a little bit of background on what it is. So electrical stimulation is a way to influence your processes in the body. Um, our body actually works on electrical stimulation. That's how nerves um, give signals to the muscles and you know to the brain. Um, so electricity is normal in the body. And we've always been able to influence that a little bit through electrical stimulation. If you've ever gone to physical therapy, you may have gotten um, some electrical stimulation on your knee or on your back. You may have had a TENS unit, something like that. Um, and then there's definitely some value to it. We definitely have used it in the clinic for as long as I've been around, um, but it's never one of the, our, our primary ways of treating patients. So, a couple of years ago, I started hearing about this thing called the newbie. And to me, at first, it was just a piece of electrical stimulation. Right, Anthony? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So it's a very expensive piece of electrical stimulation. So I wasn't really that hungry on, on getting one of these um, until I really started reading up on it, on, on the background behind it. So to give you a little bit of a, an explanation on electrical stimulation, um, everybody's heard the, the rock and roll band, you know, ACDC, right? You know, AC alternating current, DC, direct current. So that's as far as I'll go with my rock and roll influence. But um, normally what, what you get as far as treatment would be in you know, alternating current, AC current. You know, whether you have interferential currents or a TENS unit um, or anything like that, typically that would be a, an alternating current. One of the downsides to an alternating current is that you really can't affect people very much with it. You know, what works better is direct current, but unfortunately direct current typically is not very comfortable. Um, the one you know, direct current stimulation that we would use in the clinic is Russian stim, and that already doesn't sound good, does it? No, and it, it still hurt. Yeah, anybody ever liked Russian stim? No, not from me using it on patients, no. No. So um, this is a direct current stimulator but they've been able to configure it in a way that it actually really isn't painful, um, not truly uncomfortable, and it can be pretty strong and therefore has a better effect, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I want to talk a little bit about our, our first experience with the newbie during one of the symposia for hands-on diagnostics. Yeah, so they had a booth there at a symposium and uh, we were just kind of walking by and we came across the stand and they were like, hey, let's try out, try out the newbie, like, let's see what it does. So I was like, sure, why not? Um, didn't really know much about it, so good learning experience. So they applied the what a technique called, you know, hot spots. Um, they're kind of looking around um, your muscles, trying to find like active trigger points. Um, so they find them uh, again. We're scanning like my biceps, uh, and then they go ahead and put on their electro the electrodes on on the muscles. So what they had me do is they had me do some weightless bicep curls. So I'm just bending my arm back and forth, just like that, no weight. Um, I can't remember how many reps they made me do, probably like three sets of 10 or something like that, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, but as I was doing this rep, these reps, I noticed that I felt like my muscles were lifting a, a 20 pound dumbbell or something. Like I felt like, but I wasn't lifting anything, um, but it, it made me feel that way. Um, so after doing these weightless bicep curls, um, I don't know how long we had, maybe for maybe maybe two minutes or so or less. Um, after they took off the electrodes, my biceps felt like I did a hours long exercise routine uh, with a very variable weights and techniques and lifts and stuff. I had a pump essentially, and I carried that pump the rest of the day. Uh, and I was actually pretty sore the following day. And it was kind of strange. I was sore, I don't know, maybe about 12 hours or so. And all of a sudden I wasn't that sore anymore. Um, but I still felt that the residual effects afterwards, even after the soreness went away, that yeah, I had in fact did a complete thorough bicep exercise. It was a really cool thing. My experience was similar. I have a bum shoulder, um, dislocated playing basketball uh, many, 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 many moons ago. 
Um, and it's always been kind of a problem. I can do my job with it, but I can't really lift heavy weights with it because then it just starts hurting and I just can't do it. So with me, they also did the hotspot treatment, you know, on my shoulders and then put the stim on there and had me just like with Anthony, you know, do weightless, you know, shoulder exercises. So literally just, you know, raise your arm up, you know, sideways. Um, I think I did two sets of 10. I don't think I even got the three sets. Um, and I was able to do that without any pain because, you know, just lifting my arm doesn't pain, you know, doesn't hurt me. If I put 10 or 15 pounds in it, it does. And I had the same feeling of this, this, this pump. I felt like I had a good shoulder workout. Um, I was also sore the next, next day and in, in that good way. So that really made me think, it's like, well, if we can apply this to patients, yeah, we know strengthening is important, right? That's just about every patient that comes to physical therapy does some sort of strengthening. So strengthening is important, but a lot of times we run into this issue that we, we just can't push people that much. Maybe because they have a lot of pain, maybe they just had surgery, maybe they have really bad arthritis in their, their shoulder or you know whatever the problem is, we can't really work them that hard. So this definitely kind of helps you know give a solution to that, doesn't it? Yeah, um, they talk about this, this no load principle um, where you don't like general idea and traditional exercising would be in order to make your muscle bigger, you have to lift bigger weights. You have to grab the biggest weight you saw and lift it a bunch of times. And, and that's pretty strenuous on the joints itself. So what they talk about is, you know, we can create the same physiological effect on the muscles, except without loading, without loading the muscle, you don't have to pick up a, a heavy weight and, and swing it around. Um, the newbie device itself, um, and the way it works, contracts the muscle fibers and that's what you need to make the muscle stronger to make the muscle bigger um, minus the weight like I said so um, and we've seen it I did my weightless bicep curls you did your shoulder um, exercise without weight and afterwards we felt like we did lift weights um, so it was it was a lot more comfortable for you I'm sure yep, it um, was. not injuring your shoulder lifting a dumbbell um, and all you required was direct stimulation yep exactly at first, it reminded me a little bit of blood flow restriction, yeah, which is a little bit of the same principle anybody's ever had that we have like a blood pressure cuff on your arm and then you work out with it and you also get this pump without needing to, to use a lot of weight. But, you know, this really affects the nervous system way beyond what the blood flow restriction can do. And I think therefore it's, you know, it's, it's definitely a, a big step above that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, the examples we just mentioned are the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, I, I think so too. We're, we're still learning this device. Uh, we've had it now for a couple of months. Um, so far, I think the results that we're getting is, you know, are, are, are positive, but um, I think there's a lot more to discover with this, you know, this piece of equipment. So now after this, you know, symposium that we were at, we tried it. Um, we didn't, we didn't buy one right then and there. I know they wanted me to, but um, it took me a little bit to just to kind of hesitate on, okay, how are we going to use this? How are we going to implement this? Would our therapist really have a buy-in in it? So I actually didn't buy it at that point until I really started hearing from some of the people that did buy it and they really started, you know, just praising this piece of equipment, which, you know, no other physical therapist ever praises a piece of electrical stimulation equipment. They're there, we use them, but, you know, they're, they're really not that exciting. So to see that excitement from therapists that, that are using this on so many different patients was, you know, really kind of, you know, pushed me into, into you know, getting a newbie, uh, we got one for each clinic and, and start using it. One of the ways that we've started using this is with our neuropathy you know, protocol. So what Hansel Diagnostics did is they said, well, let's really see if this you know, piece of equipment is more than just hype. So let's not just look at, oh, you know, I feel a little bit better or, hey, I feel I had a good workout or anything like that. Let's really look at, do we make a change into the nerves, right? Can we influence the nerves and make the nerves better? Which it's traditionally, that's very hard to do. We can make muscles stronger and, and everything, but you know, making nerves better is hard to do. So um, they designed this protocol where they do an EMG, a nerve test before and after, and, and really an, you know, an EMG, would you say that that's like this, you know, the standard to see the, the situation of a nerve? Yeah, definitely. Um, that's what the EMG does, nerve tests. Um, to look at the health of the nerve itself. Okay, exactly. So doing a nerve test before and after would definitely give you an indication if anything changed in the, in the nerve, right? So, and then, you know, the, the protocol is, you know, 12 sessions of, um, you can do whatever physical therapy you want, on top of a foot bath with the newbie, and then the control group would be a TENS unit, uh, and just to see if we can make any changes. 
Um, and so far, what I've heard from some of the, you know heard from some of the partners that are you know doing this, they really see some miraculous changes in people that have peripheral neuropathy, which is a, is a disease process that typically there's really not much hope for. Uh, typically, the advice is um, eat healthy, exercise, and hope for the best. So to to potentially see some major changes you know in people's nerve situation is is really pretty awesome. Yeah, this is the one time where water and electricity do mix. I know it's kind of funny, isn't it? Yeah, typically we yeah. say no, but um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, and all it required was, I mean, we just take a foot bath, um, and what we mean by that is a foot bath that you fill with water. Patient puts their feet in, and we dangle one of the carbon fiber electrodes into the water. So we we do submerge the electrode in the water, and the water helps disperse this direct current throughout the water, um, and in, in a sense, that's. And that's where the benefit is. Yeah. Want to tell us a little, a little bit about what the patient experiences when they have the foot bath? So it's it's been actually kind of funny, you know. So you know when we're explaining this to the patients, it's it's a very new system. Um, they're trying to understand this. They see a they see a foot bath, they see water, and then they see electricity. So it's kind of funny trying to tell them, no, no, this is completely one hundred percent safe. Um, so uh, so after we submerge. Uh, the electrode in the water, we start turning up the machine and we really ask the patient, let me know when you feel something. And really what they feel is um, just a bunch of little tingling sensations. Um, I felt this myself. It, it really does feel like, like you fell asleep on your arm and you wake up or whatever and you feel like those little dots on your hands or your fingers. That's what it kind of feels like. Um, and so we don't stop there. We do turn it up a little bit more to what you call uh, productively uncomfortable. Um, where the patient does feel, you know, they rate it themselves out of 10, you know, a six or a seven um, out of 10 uh, intensity. Um, patient will rate that. Um, and then once we're there, the patient will start moving their toes, just basic active, what we call active range of motion exercise, maybe moving their foot side to side, maybe a little forward and back, not taking their foot out of the water, of course. Um, and that's really it. And the patient may stay in the bath for, 15, 20 minutes, um, and, and that's it. There's, there's really, it's really not complicated. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty simple. You know, and the, the, the rating of six or seven out of 10, that's not pain, but that's like uncomfortableness, I guess, right? Yeah, uncomfortable, but you can still work, yeah. move your toes and yeah. stuff. I know one of our therapists, I won't mention any names, but she kind of yelled out because I think she was surprised and I think it was more of a, a <laughs> like a really strong kind of tickle than anything else, but that was kind of funny. That's a good one, a strong tickle. Yeah, that's it. I, I think so. So so that's definitely one way that we that we started using this and, and definitely encourage anybody with peripheral neuropathy. And uh, I know in El Paso, there's plenty of people that have that because, you know, the main factor for, you know, a neuropathy would be diabetes and unfortunately we have a lot of di you know diabetics in El Paso so definitely anybody that has that numbness tingling maybe weakness uh, maybe burning sensation um, or pain you know in especially if it's both feet um, chances are this that it may be neuropathy um, it would definitely be good to get that diagnosed and, and then maybe get that treated um, and, and see if you benefit from it and like I said from some of the partners you know that we have throughout the country they have seen some miraculous improvements you know in this the use of the newbie so great yeah uh, i would do i would like to mention um again kind of i have to harp on this because there really hasn't been a treatment to address polyneuropathy right it's not curable yeah. um and in physical therapy practice we would go through balance training try to get your foot muscles working better um, and just kind of standard stuff that works on muscles joints uh, what we call proprioception you know uh, ability to balance um, this newbie device directly directly works on the nervous system yes so you can't do that with traditional physical therapy no and you know and, and again we, we haven't been using this long enough to, to, to have a lot of miracles yet but um, I, I've listened to some of the podcasts that um, you know new fits the company puts on uh, Garrett Sal Peter and um, it's, it's called the undercurrent um, it may be good if you would want to listen to that, but they've had some really, really good results on patients with a variety of neurological conditions, whether it's, you know, MS, uh, spinal cord injuries and, and things like that. So we're definitely looking forward to, to helping people you know, with that. Uh, we've had some examples already in the clinic of people that were really struggling to get their muscles going. Um, and all of a sudden, you know, with a newbie, they get these really good muscle contractions. And it's, it's really, you know, amazing to see it in their face, right? Oh yeah, um, it's it's kind of interesting. Uh, I I mean we haven't had the device for a long time, but 
success stories are rolling in probably faster than than ever before since we started using it. But a um, couple of long story shorts here. Um, I had a patient tore one ACL, got rehab with us. Um, a year later, tore the other ACL. Um, now we have a newbie um, and she's noticed a big difference um, as far as how stronger she's getting, how much faster um, her process of, of healing has become. But, but the muscle itself, um, she remembers struggling uh, just to make her quad muscle stronger. But now that we're using the newbie, you know, after this second tear, she's noticed it's, it's come a lot faster. Um, there are some other stories about, you know, people who have, you know, foot pain. Um, and sometimes foot pain is difficult to treat. Um, we use our feet all the time, obviously. Um, and they, they do get irritated a lot. Um, the foot bath, so we talked about the foot bath using for polyneuropathy, but now we're using the foot bath just for not polyneuropathy. We're using it just for, for pain control, um, for like this kind of indirect strengthening of foot intrinsics. Uh, and they're coming out of there, out of the foot bath with minimal to no pain when they're walking. Um, and these are people like I really tried hard with traditional techniques um, and none of those techniques are really working. In fact, some of them were actually even getting worse to a point where I stopped you know, doing regular manual therapy on, on some of them. It's just because it wasn't productive. Um, started the newbie bath and they're, they request it now. They, they want to come in and they want to get the newbie bath, foot bath, um, cause that seems to have allowed them to jump, jump hurdles essentially, so to speak, uh, where we weren't able to do that before. Yeah. And I think that's, that's kind of the magic behind this machine is it works on so many different aspects. So it definitely helps with pain control. You know, if you, your pain is more controlled, you can do more exercises. It helps to get the muscle really contracting. So if you're trying to get stronger, then you need the muscle contracting, you know, it definitely influences the nervous system and the nervous system you know, is what regulates strength, but also regulates pain. So it really has so many different facets that, that it's working, that this has you know, really been you know, an extremely interesting process to, to get working with us. Yeah, and going back to my ACL um, uh, play patient, um, you know, when you have your ACL repaired, there's certain things you can't do. You, you can't load a lot. You really can't do functional movements, much of anything, because you're, you have to wait a certain amount of time uh, for the graft to heal and such. Well, when we're unfortunate, when you're waiting through all that, your muscles aren't strengthening. Mm -hmm. So one of the great uses for the newbie is we put the newbie on, for example, the quad, and we've been able to prevent muscle atrophy and to the contrary, promote strength gains or at least maintaining um, quad strength. Uh, I know that's pretty significant. You know, usually, I mean, you've seen it, people after ACL yeah. surgeries, their quad is tiny. Um, so, and there was really nothing you can do about it until after you've reached a certain threshold with the newbie, you know, you, you, you can decelerate that atrophy or push it the other way and make the quad stronger without loading or, or doing all these, uh, functional movements. I think it's really going to, you know, increase the speed of, of healing on, on some of these patients when you can, you know, early on strengthen them and, and get them better. And then, you know, it makes, makes the whole process so, you know, so much better, so much easier. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm glad we got it. Yep. Me too. So, um, so for anybody out there, if you're you know interested in learning more about the newbie, you know, newbie, definitely give us a call, um, or come in, you know, for, for a session, come in for, for a consult to see if this would help you out. Um, so this is for anybody with pain, anybody with muscle weakness, anybody with a nervous system that's not working right. In other words, I don't know, 90% of our patients? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so come see us and, you know, we'll have our you know next episode of our Spine and Rehab Specialist podcast. Coming up soon.